What? spiel give it a thumbs up boy you got at least one thumb give it a thumbs up even though got if you don't got a thumb a pinky up something click that thumbs up please all right now i'm gonna talk about this article i i always do this whenever i'm not sure and it sounds a little fishy i don't know about this but there's a new leak that's saying that the Nintendo Switch 2, they have a release date, a price, and an interesting feature. Now, some of this sounds believable. Some of this stuff I've already said. So I'm a little fishy about this, but my job is to just report the news. So there's a leak of the Nintendo Switch 2. I'm even skeptical of giving the website because I don't like just giving out free clout because it was just me making up stuff. But it's saying that Nintendo just released the Switch Lite, which is $200. I'm going to give you the gist of the article. Nintendo just released the Switch Lite this August. But this leak is saying that Nintendo um, will be coming out with a high-end pro model of the Nintendo Switch with one caveat. It won't be portable. This this is what I say. This sort of makes sense. The Switch the Switch $300 portable and home console. The Switch Lite cheaper at $200 only portable. This Switch Pro is being said to not have any portability and just be a home console. So you'll have a family of Switch systems. Here's the caveat. This Pro console is going to be $400, bro. So it looks like Nintendo might be back in the game of competing with Sony and Microsoft. I'm actually hyped for this. I hope Nintendo put their big boy pants back on and start giving us games above 30 frames per second. <coughs> At least third party games. But, alright, so this, this person is saying that they got in contact with an unnamed former Nintendo employee with insider knowledge. And that the Switch 2 will be a partner to the original console. Just like how the Switch Lite um, compliments the, um, the OG Switch, the Switch 2 will be. Here it is. The Switch 2, it won't be a portable, it won't have any portability, but it will have a major boost to graphics, including 4K support. 4K is going to be the next wave. And so Nintendo knows they need to come out with a 4K system to keep up. Also, Gamers will not have to repurchase um, Pro Controllers, Joy-Cons, everything that's compatible with the current Switch will work with the Switch 2, which is good. Bro, I've told y'all, this is the best controller. What do you think this is? This is the Xbox 360 controller, but <laughs> this has gyro aiming, bro. That's the one thing I always wish the Xbox controller had, this Nintendo just took what Microsoft did and improved on it. And so we'll be able to use our same, the Joy-Cons Pro Controllers will be compatible with this high-end um, Nintendo Switch. So, and the last thing is the release date. 2021. I would just say it. That's why I'm a little skeptical. This dude probably watched my video. Oh, Obi-Wan's a genius. And so he's saying um, 2021 is when 
the Switch 2 will be coming out. Switch 2 coming out in um, 2021, which is what I said. It makes sense. It's going to be tough. I don't want Nintendo to come out the same year as Microsoft and Sony. It's going to be too much hoopla, too much competition. Let them have their one year of fun. And then, bam, Nintendo hit us with that banger, boy. So, I think this is a good plan, good plan. It gives the Switch four years on the market. And uh, they should, should. Hopefully, the games will still be compatible somewhat with the current Switch model. I don't know how it's going to work. At least the indie games should be compatible. But Switch 2 reported to be coming to a console near you. That's it. That's the only news item for this video. No multiple news items. Just wanted to share this news. I thought it was interesting. Do you think it was interesting? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo. We out, boy.